Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio this morning is Michael Einbinder Schatz. He is president of Joe Becca Technology Group, and he is in the studio with me today. Michael, how are you? I'm doing well, Fran. Great, great. Very exciting. I mean, we met each other several years ago mm -hmm. in a class for entrepreneurs about 15 people, and it's kind of cool that with technology and LinkedIn, we can still stay connected. So Absolutely, and I just want to say you look the same, which uh. is, I'm <laughs> jealous because I have, you know, they're thinner, they're grayer, I'm not uh. happy, but you look fabulous, so. Well, thank you, thank you. And you know, you have that professorial look, which I think is very distinguished. I'm just missing the patches. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, we can always add those. Although, I, I bet you're feeling kind of at home right now, because when we were talking prior to the show starting, you said that you majored in film when you were at Temple. I did. I did. That was a, it was a lifetime ago. I went to Temple as a uh, radio, television, and film major, and I'm used to being on the other side of the glass, directing mm -hmm. or doing sound, and... Um, mm -hmm. Um, so it's very cool to come in the studio and be yeah. sitting on this side. Great. Well, my pleasure. I'm glad that you're here. So this is a great opportunity to kind of learn more about you. Um, you talked about that you started in film, you majored in film. Mm -hmm. So what was your first job and um, how did you get from that job to being in technology? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, um, it felt like a very logical transition at oh, the time. logical, okay. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But the bottom line is when I got out of school, I got offered an opportunity to go into sales for a videotape distribution company, and we bought and sold used movies. Videotape mm -hmm. industry was booming at the time. If you had a little mm -hmm. bit of money, you could get a little store on the mm -hmm. corner somewhere. Blockbuster hadn't blown up yet, so oh, right. there were opportunities for mom and pops to do well in the business, mm -hmm. and we did very well uh, with a little videotape distributor up in Ben Salem that mm -hmm. I was in sales for. Mm -hmm. While I was there, they computerized, and lo and behold, I found that I had an aptitude for wow. something that I had never worked with before. Uh, I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just kind of one thing led to another. I started picking up consulting jobs on the side. The next thing I knew, I was a computer trainer for a large law firm in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and ended up running their network, 900 people, six wow. locations nationwide, mm -hmm. and then I went out on my own in 1996. So, you know, it, it feels logical, but it is, you know, it's, it's very, very different, different than what I studied. So. Right, which is, I mean, part of the, the value of having a liberal arts education. Mm -hmm. You can seize opportunities, you can follow your passion, you've got this good communication skills, and then things happen. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Wonderful story. So you went from film to sales to technology, and then you opened your own firm. What was that significant moment or series of moments that had you say, I want to be an entrepreneur? Well, you know, like Michael Gerber says <laughs> in the e-myth, um, yes. I, I think I had a flash of entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. In fact, I may not have wanted to be an entrepreneur. Mm, okay. I left, I went out on my own, I liked helping people, uh, and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I'm running a business. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do anything because I really yeah. didn't study business right, in, right. in college, so it's the school of, of hard knocks. Um, and I think there was a moment for me that, that everything kind of crystallized, and that was, um, I guess it would have been around 2001. So okay. we had, you know, prior to that, I um, I operated like many uh, solopreneur um, computer consultants, uh, which was the break fix model. Right. You you longed for the phone to ring because <laughs> it's so bad. I could put the meter on and it was awesome. You know, and you could charge a lot. I could charge a lot, and uh -huh. you know, there, I didn't have much overhead, so it was mm -hmm. all going to me, and I was making good money. And I'm like, this mm -hmm. is this is awesome, mm -hmm. but. You know, everyone had money. Mm -hmm. Everyone was upgrading hardware quickly because mm -hmm. hardware was still evolving and you mm -hmm. wanted to open your spreadsheets or documents that much mm -hmm. faster. You needed that processing power. Um, and everyone had the money. That was mm -hmm. probably the number one thing. Then the dot-com bubble burst. 
we had a, a minor blip, not so minor <laughs> blip in the economy, and people start getting scared. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like they are now, but mm -hmm. different reasons. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> And but this is not about politics. That's right. Stick that's on right. technology. Um, <laughs> so we got called into a potential client, and they had done everything the way we would have recommended, but they mm -hmm. were looking to change uh, partners 18 months in. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, what, what's the reason? Well, in 18 months, no one had done anything to their systems, and they were running horribly. Mm -hmm. And I had this flash during a business slowdown period, you know, where I was having some sleepless nights, that, wait a minute, it's, it's not about putting the right stuff in although that's a part of mm -hmm. it. It's about maintaining it and proactively managing wow. it so wow. that it, it's about helping people be productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, they didn't need to buy hardware as often then. So what I did in 2001, first of all, I really did have a night where I wrote a treatise in the okay. middle of the night. I felt it was like my Jerry Maguire moment, okay. you know, where he writes oh, that thing goodness. in the middle of the night. Okay. And I really did think that analogy okay. at the time. So I wrote this treatise for my two employees and I shared it with them and they got like really ramped up and the whole idea was we're gonna go into a proactive mode mm. we're gonna we're gonna go to our clients and we're gonna say this is what we need to do mm -hmm. we need to proactively manage your equipment we need to proactively come out and make sure everything's working we need to do these things mm -hmm. and a lot of them were manual steps then Fran there oh, was right. a, you know right. we had to go on site anytime yes. there was like a major thing yes. you know hit all our clients and Without going into all the moments, but over mm -hmm. the years, that's really evolved to where okay. we're now a full managed service provider. A lot of that stuff is automated now. Mm -hmm. um, but if I had to pick one moment in 2001, mm -hmm. that was a shift between, um, you know, just being a business owner with a, who had a flash of entrepreneurial spirit to really embracing mm -hmm. how we could do things differently in our business and make a difference for our clients. And that's so critical. I mean, you mentioned Michael Gerber, and one of the parts of the e-myth is business owners you know, really need to think about, do they want to work in their business or on their business? Exactly. And as a service provider, are you selling stuff or are you helping your client you know, meet their goals? And so by focusing on productivity and adding value and then managed services, which means steady cash flow, Right. wow. I mean, that's the business bonanza. Well, you so. see everyone going to it. I mean, if you buy exactly. a, a lot of cars now, you know, it comes with all the changes, the oil changes, because they want you in. Right. They, you know, they're charging you for that. They might as well get it in. All the um, software as a service models mm -hmm. on the internet for whatever it is, they're all going to a licensing model, whether it's mm -hmm. Office 365 or if you want Acrobat, you just pay monthly for it. Right. They want right. the predictable uh, revenue. but. The companies that succeed are trading a tremendous amount of value for that. Right. It's not just that, you know, we're not just focused on, okay, well, how much are we going to get in revenue? Right. We have to provide tremendous value for that. We have to earn it every day. Right. It is about a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I, I share often with folks, business is about the three R's, relationships, results, and revenue. And if you don't have the relationship and you don't produce the results, you will not get the revenue. Absolutely. Because people have so many choices. That they do. You brought a book, and I'm looking at that book because the <laughs> title is just kind of a cool segue. So tell me about the book and show the book so people can see it. So this is the book. It's called Simplify It or Simplify IT. IT. I saw and the joke. It is the Business Owner's Guide to Eliminating Technology Stress. And basically, I wanted to take the, the best ideas that I had come up with um, to help companies navigate mm. the sometimes shark infested waters oh, definitely. Um, of managing technology and their and their businesses. Mm. Um, so um, it's it's a quick read. It's mm -hmm. it's you know, I, I tried to make it as comfortable for the layperson as mm -hmm. possible. I see the print is big, which I the appreciate print is now really that big. I'm it's like three letters. A A R P uh, identified. A A R P friendly <laughs> uh, print. Um, and it's great. You know, the other thing is, um, look, we're, we're trying to help business owners, but mm -hmm. also there's a lot of people who do what we do. So mm -hmm. if I can be the person going into a competitive situation that wrote a book, mm -hmm. it, doesn't it doesn't hurt Joe Becca. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt our chances of mm -hmm. landing a new client. Um, once we land them, we have to keep them, and, right. and that's right. where we sure. have tremendous process and everything. But um, 
uh, a lot of good information in the book. Great, great. Well, I'm glad that you brought that it. One, that one's for you. Okay. Oh, terrific. And I get to keep it. Absolutely. Simplify IT. Joe Becca, I meant to ask you earlier, how did you come up with that name? Is it film oriented or is there a backstory? No, the backstory is real simple. It's named okay. for my kids. My okay. son, Joshua, is 21, and my daughter, mm -hmm. Rebecca, is 19. Interestingly enough, I came up with the name for the company uh, before Rebecca was born. We knew we were having a girl. My, my mm -hmm. ex-wife and I knew we were having a girl. We knew what we were naming her, and we were trying to think of creative names. My original company name had been MES Consulting Services, and you know, names like that are a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. They're they're not creative. Mm -hmm. I went to film school. I'm right. a little okay, creative. Right. Exactly. I have to have something, you right. know, that feels right. good. And uh, you know, I could honor my kids every day mm. with a name like that. So that's you would cool. think they'd want to take over the business. Well, but they have no you know, that's a, that's another. As a business coach, that's another succession planning and all Absolutely. that kind of good stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Speaking of sort of preserving um, important memories and. I'll put dot, 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 data. You brought one other item, and what is it? Why is it important? Well, this is an example of, this is really two things. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, it's a, uh, very simply put, it's a computer, for starters. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I mean, it's this like is a- About four inches full, by four inches? Or? <laughs> yeah, maybe four yeah. or five by five. It, it mm -hmm. weighs, it weighs yeah. nothing. Oh my goodness, it's less than a weight. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. You know, you won't get in good shape using this <laughs> thing, that's for sure. Um, but they make computers as powerful as any desktop that fit in this mm -hmm. size now. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a basic computer, but we put these out there as a business continuity appliance. Mm. Okay. And basically what that means is that for a business that has a file server and their operations are running, well, what happens if there, it blows up or there's mm -hmm. a fire or something? Mm -hmm. This device here backs up everything to the cloud mm -hmm. and in an emergency in under 15 minutes we can have the client operational again, even if the wow. server has smoke coming out of it because this becomes wow. a gateway. That manages all of totally that. Totally, it's powerful. like tiny, and it does it, it does all that cool stuff. Now, the other thing is that we have a cloud offering where we provide. It's called Ubiquidesk, a name mm -hmm. I came up with. I'm, okay. I really love that name. It, it is pretty cool. Um, I have to say, very creative, also. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. So, Ubiquidesk is a uh, cloud service where. Mm -hmm. um, all of the applications and all of the data for a business reside in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like the old days, you're using your computer almost like a dumb terminal mm, right. to get everything right. off the cloud. And wow. in that case, you only need something it can be a really dumbed down version of this. It would still look the same, mm -hmm. but it could cost, you know, two, three hundred dollars and you could replace it every seven, eight, nine years because wow. you're not using right. it for the processing. Right. You're using it as a gateway. You so. are definitely thinking ahead and setting trends. Share with the audience kind of the 30 seconds. What is Jobeka Technology Group Incorporated? What do you do? Who do you serve? So Jobeka Technology Group is a managed service provider. We do IT consulting for small to medium businesses, usually that are frustrated by having up and down mm -hmm. bills. They mm -hmm. don't really understand how to manage change. They don't want to crawl under desks and <laughs> oh, fix stuff. I know. They find the desk bunnies when That's they do that. That's right. That's yeah, right. Okay. Um, and they're looking for a company that has a breadth of experience to come in and not just do all those things, the mm -hmm. unsexy things, mm -hmm. but also be able to consult with them and provide them with guidance in a, such a rapidly changing area. We're it doing is. so much that it, we it never saw is. before. Michael, how can folks get in touch with you? And then we're going to wrap up. I can't believe 15 minutes has gone so quickly, but how can they get in touch with you? So quickly. Yeah. I'm a hacker. Um, <laughs> so people can get in touch with us at our website, www.jobeka.com. It's a great place to get information about the company. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone can reach out to me at uh, my email address, which is eschatz, E-S-C-H-A-T-Z, at Joe Becca. First two letters of Joshua, J-O, last five of Rebecca, okay. E-E-C-C-A dot mm -hmm. com. And my phone number is 215. Uh, eight nine. I had to think. Great. Two one five eight nine one nine five zero three. Two one five eight nine one nine five zero three. Terrific. Michael, it has really been a pleasure. I feel like I've gone on a journey here, which is wonderful. Um, I love reconnecting. I always love gifts, so thank you for bringing Simplify It or IT, your book, and showing us a really cool technology tool 
that your company can provide to help folks stay productive, stay ahead of the curve, and in case of a disaster, have a business left over. So that is totally cool. Thank you again. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. There you have it, folks, another significant story from a significant entrepreneur. My guest today has been Michael Einbeiner Schatz, and he is president and founder of Jobeka Technology Group Incorporated. Please continue to join us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.